hi guys so i've already done my eyebrows so i'm not going to show you that part right now i'm just applying a concealer on my eyelids to act as an eyeshadow primer and the concealer that i'm using is the maybelline fit me concealer in the shade caramel after applying the concealer on both eyelids i'm going to prime my face and i'm priming my face using the maybelline fit me uh, mattifying primer it's not the fit me it's the maybelline mattifying primer and i'm just going to apply it all over the rest of my face of course avoiding my eyes and then we are back to our eyes and for uh, a base for the uh, eyeshadow base i'm going to apply that color that you've seen there which is like a very very light orange color because i want it closer to the skin tone and then next we are going to apply that black eyeshadow in the crease of our eyes so the black eyeshadow is just supposed to like demarcate the crease of the eye separate it from the rest of the eye it's basically just supposed to enhance the crease and then after that i'm going to take a purple neon pigment now specifically this pigment i got it off aliexpress so it's not from a specific brand and i'm just using it to blend the way you're seeing me blending blending it out towards the eyebrows so basically the purple goes towards the eyebrows um, and then now on the outer corner of my eye i'm going to use that same same purple shade uh, to like apply on the outer corner of my eye and the reason i'm not going to do a cut crease this is not a cut crease guys this is just various colors i'm blending in is because i just feel like cut creases are too harsh on the eye so um next i'm just applying this silver eyeshadow it's silver but it has like purplish black stuff in it that's why i've chosen it to apply it in the center of my eyelid so that color goes in the center of my eyelid and then this other color which is silver uh, now that's a pure silver is going in the inner corner of my eye so we are applying and if you haven't noticed the outer corner of my eye actually has matte shades but the inner corner of my eye has shimmery shades they don't have glitters in them but they do have a sheen to it um yeah and then i'm just taking a brush and i'm going to blend all that in properly and then now i'm going to take that white shade and i'm just using the same brush i applied the purple with to apply it into the inner corner of the eye the specific reason i use the same brush is so that it can have a hint of purple with it and then now i'm going to take this estee lauder double wear stain place eye pencil uh, this is the shade violet if i'm not wrong and violet is actually similar to that purple color that i've applied although it's not very close to it but yeah it's still a shade of purple and then i've um, i've just applied some glitters uh to that look so that it can look nice and glittery of course everyone loves glitters guys yeah and then i'm going in with my usual um eyeliner which is a black eyeliner by maybelline which is the colossal argan oil eyeliner it's kajal yeah in extra black and now that we are almost done with the eyes we are not completely done with the eyes i've just decided to do my nose first so i'm applying my usual contour shade which is the makeup revolution contour and that shade is the one i've applied all along my nose and then i've just patted in, it in with a beauty blender for eyeliner i've used the note eyeliner and i've just applied one lash as you've noticed the other lash messed up so i decided to do the rest of my face without it but will return it yeah so now i'm just using doing my concealer and as you can see i'm applying it in the spots that are uh, uh, you're just seeing over there specifically under my eyes for brightening and all those areas that i've applied my concealer are for the purposes of brightening and i'm using the maybelline superstay full coverage under eye concealer and this is the shade honey which is a very very light shade next i'm just going to set that concealer with my black opal setting powder uh yeah and basically as it continues setting we are going to do mascara because we didn't do mascara on our lower lashes we are not going to do mascara on our upper lashes because we've already put fake lashes now i'm going to remove that setting powder that i've used to set my concealer so i'm just removing it and then we're going to do foundation so for foundation i'm using the maybelline uh, foundation and this is the shade coconut which is number 65 so i'm just going to apply it all over my face all over all over my face except except guys the areas where i applied concealer because we don't want to have a kicky face if the face becomes too kicky it's not good the makeup can peel yeah and then I'm, after applying my foundation i'm just going to like set it using a maybelline setting spray 
and then now we are going to do our lips and we are starting off with a black lip liner i don't know i'm obsessed with lining my lips with black this time around i'm just going to lightly blend it i've not applied a lot of black like in other makeup looks yeah because i didn't want that black to overwhelm the lipstick for lipstick i'm going to use two different lipsticks and the first lipstick this maroon one that you're seeing is the maybelline superstay matte ink and this is the shade voyager so i've just applied it all over my lips covering even that black pencil and then the second lipstick is the maybelline sensational liquid matte uh, lipstick and this is the shade keep it mellow which is a horrible shade if you use it on its own unless you have lighter skin but for us dark skins it's not the best that's why i've decided to combine both of them to produce this really really lovely um, shade and then i'm just going to apply again the my black opal setting powder all over my face and then i'm also going to do highlight and for highlight i'm still using the nyx golden hour is it golden hour yes the nyx high glass yeah illuminating powder in the shade golden hour that's the one i'm using as highlight and then after that i'm just going to set my entire face and probably apply a little bit of bronzer and the bronzer that i'm using as usual is the makeup revolution bronzer and it's in the shade dark which i absolutely love that bronzer it's like my favorite bronzer guys i'll never get and it's so much i don't think it will ever end unless it just expires then again another layer of setting spray i think i've used so much setting spray but i think i really need that setting spray that was the pre-warmer to get you ready for the warmer, to get you ready for the pre-workout, to get you followed by the workout, which precedes the post-workout. I swear the life I'm living ain't the life I want I want to change the world, don't know where to start I want to do things, I want to see things change Yeah, I'm worried about the wealth, I ain't worried about the blame Try and do my thing, get paid for Trying to live my life without paying for it Have a well known life I was made for And when I make it to the top, who I'm going to thank for it, huh? They just talk a lot, they be off a lot They don't need me on I know I do a lot, do I move a lot But I'll get where I'm going They try to hold me, but try to break me down They don't know that Gonna make it out, they just suck me oh, I'm just making my own way. I swear to life I'm living it the life I want, I wanna change the world on the